I, I think it must have been, writing this book must have been some kind of accident that happened with the computer. The book is called We Ate Wonder Bread. So it's a story of my childhood and of the characters that I met in that building before I knew that these people were characters. The thing about just living in this really small world is that that's all that ex exists are these three apartments. And the life that these people had seemed to me to be the life that everybody had. The guy on the first floor was um, lent money to gamblers. He was called a six for five man because he sort of swindled them. He charged them too much interest. And he and I work to sell magic tricks through the mail. I'm saying, I'm making money, I'm happy. And he says, is this the life I imagined? I can't believe when I look back at it is, why did they think it was okay for me to be alone in an apartment with a thug all day long? <laughs> you know? Her parents thought that if they gave her the perfect bedroom, she wouldn't run away with someone or wouldn't have an affair. There's one of my dad's partners walking out and saying, bye bye, jerk. Everyone had wonderful lamps. That's Esther, uh, and that's me laughing behind her. Everybody in the neighborhood watched out for other people. That doesn't mean they were always nice to them. My father was a very um, loud uh, atheist, and, and he, was, he always wanted to upset the neighborhood. And my mother was so much fun. I was the only child in the neighborhood who knew what a capon was. This book may be for people who have nostalgia about a certain kind of neighborhood that just can't possibly exist anymore.